Retired. Chair now recognizes the uh, gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, ranking member of the Oversight and Investigation Subcommittee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the ranking member as well. I'm grateful that you have given us a very positive response and we are holding this hearing. Mr. Chairman, with $5.6 billion in earnings in the second quarter, Wells Fargo is not in this because of need. This is about greed. It's about the same kind of greed that created credit default swaps, that created negative amortization, that created no-doc loans, that created prepayment penalties that coincided with teaser rates. The same kind of greed called exotic products that created the housing bubble. This greed has caused this cross-selling to become the equivalent of an exotic product, a product that has now created a cross-selling bubble for Wells Fargo. The cross-selling bubble exists because you were marketing yourself as a company in a growth mode by virtue of the new products you were having with your customers. You had customers that were coming in and you were growing. This enticed investors, it enticed consumers to buy your stocks. When your stocks were bought, it benefited you and top-level executives to the detriment of lower-level entry employees. They get fired, top-level executives get golden parachutes, and it's business as usual. Well, Mr. Chairman, this will not end by simply having some lower-level employees go to jail. If top-level executives go free and lower-level employees go to jail, it doesn't end it because there is no reason for this to cease and for top-level employees to be more mindful of what's going on. So we've reached a point now where the public expects to see more than lower-level people punished. 5,300. 5,300 working people who, by what I seem to read, were encouraged to the point of having themselves coerced to engage in this activity. These were people who were trying to make a living, not trying to make a big bonus and a big payday. These people deserve a fair day, not just an exit from your company. And what do I mean by a fair day? I think they deserve an opportunity to be heard in terms of what happened at Wells Fargo to cause them to do what they've done. I think that they ought to be given an opportunity to come before Congress. They ought to be able to explain. And I would also add this. We have to find out how pervasive this bubble is. We have to. We do have to uh, bring before the Investigations Committee, Oversight and Investigations, other CEOs, top-level executives, and let them tell us. And I think that we have to start with you. So tell me, please, sir, how commonplace is this cross-selling in the banking industry? Thank you, Congressman. For our company, cross-sell is a good thing because it represents the depth if of If you ratio. would, I'm going to have to I, intercede. I, I have to intercede because I'm asking you about the industry now. I, I have no idea. What you have no right. idea as to how pervasive the product is? I, I don't know what other companies use. Well, uh, are they using cross-sell? You, are you saying you have no belief or no idea that other companies are cross-selling? I, I do not have that. I, I must tell you, I, I cannot believe your answer. You're telling me that you have no idea that as to whether or not they even engage in cross-selling? I, I don't know their, their, their performance But do you know that I, they engage in it? I, I, every bank, every retailer out there has some motivation, some way to make sure they recognize their people. Do they engage in cross-selling? Well, 
I don't know. I don't know their situations. I, I'm, I'm honest. You, with you you don't talk to your colleagues. You don't talk to other bankers. You have no idea as to whether they engage in cross selling. I don't know what they use. Well, listen. I thank you for and, your and, answer. And, Let me finish because, Mr. Chairman, this is the evidence that we need to bring the others in. We have to ask them what they are doing, given that this gentleman refuses to give us what I believe to be a correct answer. Time, time of the gentleman has expired.